reporting for InfoWars.com. We are here at Leetonia High School in Leetonia, Ohio for a Mike Pence rally. Now, we are still an hour before the event right now and the gymnasium is filling up and there is still a line outside. More people show up to a Mike Pence rally than even Hillary Clinton's rallies. We're gonna go ask some people who they think won the presidential debate and if they have seen a lot of Trump support in their town versus Hillary support. Who do you think won the presidential debate? I would have to give it a toss up at this point. Uh, I think had the moderator been a little more fair towards Trump, he may have won, but since he didn't get a chance to really speak his mind and bring up some important issues, uh, I'd have to give it a tie. I don't see a clear winner. Donald Trump. I think he won because the like, I don't know, like he just kept on attacking her about like her emails and stuff like that. I got to stick with him as his first presidential debate. Hillary had 15, so. You know, I think uh, I, I got to give it to Trump. Probably Trump. I mean, Hillary was all right, but Trump, I feel, made some better points. I think Trump definitely won because he was himself. And I think it really showed her brittleness and her arrogance. He looked presidential. He didn't argue as she did. He didn't lie as she did. I think it was pretty biased towards Hillary. And I think... Trump was holding back on a lot of things. He was polite. I really thought that he wasn't out there to beat up Hillary. I really thought that he was out there to get his message to anyone who does not listen to conservative news. All the people who listen to other media may really not know him. I think he come across uh, more as an honest person, not trying to put her down too bad. I don't think Trump won more than 20 minutes, the first 20 minutes. I think uh, Trump won the first 40 minutes and then she maybe got a little edge on him toward the end. But uh, I think overall, I think he did a better job. I think Trump will just blow her right out of the ballpark. How many Trump signs compared to Hillary Clinton signs have you seen around your neighborhood? A lot more Trump. I, I think I saw one Hillary and it was Hillary for prison. I see way more Trump than Hillary. Like our whole streets just like flooded and like the streets around our neighborhood are. So yeah. I think I've seen two Clinton signs and about uh, probably 2,000 Trump signs. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's at least 20 Trump signs on our road. So I would say at least 10 Trump signs to every two Hillary. Well, I'm a local coal driver and I have seen way more Trump signs than Clinton signs. I have a piece of paper in my truck where I write them down when I see them, and it's overwhelming. Wow, would you say you've seen hundreds of Trump compared to Hillary? Thousands. I drive, I go up the street just to a, a city called Boardman, and just, I haven't seen a single Hillary sign. We're from the uh, lower corner of uh, Pennsylvania. It's all Trump, Trump everywhere. Hardly any, hardly any Hillary. I would say about 90% Trump. Not very many Hillary signs. I drove from Salem to Mineral Ridge and I seen probably hundreds of Trump signs. And we see what, four Hillary signs and, and two Hillary for prison. I've seen more Trump signs. Definitely in Northeastern Ohio, there are a lot of signs for uh, Trump. I, I'm, surprised at the number of them that are out there. Uh, I live in a subdivision with 30 homes and there's 28 homes that have Trump signs, one Hillary sign. They're everywhere. We've seen no Hillary. We went to Lake Erie, all the way to Lake Erie, Trump. Do you trust the mainstream media's polls? No. <laughs> no. No, I don't, I don't even watch the mainstream media. They're so biased and um, I get my news from InfoWars. I don't go by polls. I go by this. Absolutely not. That's why I follow InfoWars and a lot of web, uh, web news sites. I, I, don't, uh, I watch them, but I don't believe them. No, not at all. I do not. I do not. They change every day. You know? <laughs> what I'm going to believe is the day after election day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the mainstream medium is stacked to, to Hillary. 
and it's been proven that's true. All the statistics show you that. What would you like to hear Trump address in this next debate? Towards Hillary Clinton, uh, her past performance, uh, Benghazi, her emails, her foundation, uh, the pay to play. I want him to address what we need as blue collared workers. Well, I'd like to see him bring up how Hillary's kind of betrayed her country a little more, you know, but uh, then again, I like how he keeps it professional. I'd like to him get a lot more specific on what he's going to do about ISIS and what he's going to do about our economy. More detail, more guts to it. Fill in the blanks. I want to see him, uh, I know it's not presidential, but I kind of want to see him take shots of Hillary. Yeah. Like, get her out of place. The issues that are important to the survival of this country going forward. I'm really for his uh, security, uh, border security. Keep talking about the uh, jobs. Uh, just jobs. We need the economy. Keep on the economy. That's what we need. We need the jobs. We need to manufacture. We need to bring them back. That's the most important thing we can do right now. You know, Donald Trump, Donald Trump just embodies the spirit of America. Strong, freedom-loving, independent, optimistic, and willing to fight for what he believes in, and he's going to fight for the people of Ohio and the people of this country every day. Speaks straight from his mind, straight from his heart. And he's a doer. He's a doer in a game usually reserved for talkers. And when he does his talk and he doesn't go, tiptoeing around all those rules of political correctness that the media puts in the way of men and women that want to make a difference. I mean, uh, the first thing you got to do with the Clintons is recognize that uh, when you think about Bill and Hillary Clinton, they basically perfected the politics of personal profit. You got to follow the money with these people. And the money flowing into speaking fees and the money flowing into the Clinton Foundation all at the same time that she was Secretary of State leading our diplomatic efforts. It looks like the kind of pay-to-play politics that the American people are sick and tired of. For the sake of the rule of law, we cherish the sanctity of life. For the sake of the Second Amendment to the Constitution of the United States, for the sake of all of our God-given liberties, we must ensure here and now in the great state of Ohio that the next president making appointments to the Supreme Court of the United States will be President Donald Trump. Hi, Alex. I've been listening to you. I got the shirt. I got the hat. Oh, and I'm so excited. We're going to do it. We're going to take Ohio Trump team. Yay! It just goes to show the fact that we have more people turning out to a Pence rally than what we've seen in the past with Hillary Clinton's rallies just goes to show how kind of skewed the mainstream media polls really are. People we've talked to stated how they just see so many Pence and Trump signs around their neighborhoods and barely any Hillary signs. So this is pretty amazing to see, guys. This is Millie Weaver signing off for Infowars.com. Thousands of years ago, there was a basic form of chivalry. Our ancestors would hear the drums of war, giving the warriors of the tribe a chance to organize and prepare a defense. 60 years ago, when foreign air forces were approaching filled with bombs, they had drums of their own, air raid sirens. But in the 21st century, there are silent weapons for quiet war. Pathogens added to the food and water and to the lining of plastics that destroy our vitality, turn off our hormones, and accelerate our journey towards death. I personally counter this onslaught with Anthroplex. Anthroplex is designed with known organic concentrated herbs to create the basic foundation to normal metabolic activity inside the human body. Discover why Anthroplex is turning so many heads today. It's time for us to take our bodies back into our own hands and it starts at InfoWarsLife.com with Anthroplex.